Hey guys, you probably already know that the shadow is a great way to add some fun to your lettering art and also a very easy way to make your lettering 3D. In this tutorial, I'll show you a very easy way to create a drop shadow in Procreate. Uh, so let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is to create some text. So to do that, we will first choose the color we want to use. Then we'll tap on the actions, add and add text. You will notice that this little uh, menu will pop up as well as the keyboard. So now just type uh, anything you want. I will go with something easy. Let's say art. Now double tap on text and tap on the name of the font. Now you are in the editing mode and you can um, edit your text. So choose any font you want. I'll go with, we'll go with the Futura. I uh, will also change the style to bold and I will increase the size of my um, artwork. So now when you're happy with any, uh, everything and you can play around um, looking for other fonts, yeah, but when you're happy, just click done. And now I will uh, need to move my art somewhere in the middle. So I'll go to transform tool and I'll put it somewhere in the middle. Now we would need to rasterize this la uh, layer, so we'll go to layers, we'll click on art and we will to bring up the menu and we'll click on rasterize. Cool. Now we need to duplicate this layer because we will use it as a drop shadow. So we'll go back to the layers, we will swipe it to the left and we'll click duplicate. And here we go. So now we will need to adjust the uh, shadow layer. So we will go to the layers again. So the top layer will be my main word and the bottom layer will be my sh drop shadow. So we'll go to the bottom layer. We'll also click on transform and we will move this uh, layer somewhere to, uh, to the side. Now we can also change the, col uh, the color of this layer of the drop shadow. So I'll go choose red and I will um, change the color of my shadow. Now I can see it a little better. So, and I can adjust it also a little better. So I'll go a little up, mm, something, something like that. So after adjusting the drop shadow layer, you will notice that the gaps between the two layers and those gaps make them look like they're not connected. And well, that's fair, they're not connected yet. So to fix it, we will select the um, bottom layer, which is the sh uh, drop shadow layer. And we will fix the uh, will, um, and we will fill the gaps, creating a seamless extension. So you can do it in two ways. You can simply select a brush. I'll go with my mono, my favorite brush, monoline, and um, by hand. Oops, too big. By hand, connect these two uh, corners and color it. That's actually not my favorite way. It's it's one of the ways and you can definitely use it, but I actually prefer to connect the gaps uh, using the selection tool. So if you go to the selection tool, make sure you choose also color fill, then go to the two corners, tap here, tap here, and connect the two uh, dots. And that's all. The, the area will be filled. That's a very quick way to do that. That's also a very uh, precise way and to make sure that all the gaps are connected and filled. So that's that's the way, um, that's the method I usually use. You don't have to use it. If you like, uh, just use the brush and connect and color. That's also fine, whatever works for you. I just prefer this method. I also think it's a little quicker and it's easier for me. So that's all. When you're done, click on selection tool to unselect everything. And that's all. That's how you create the drop shadow on Procreate. And I hope this video was helpful and you will uh, create the 3D lettering in your next art project.